Ryan the Predator Rogers could be considered a late bloomer in the world of mixed martial arts. His first love was football, playing linebacker at Walsh, and still ranking second in tackles all time at the school. Football was my best sport, and actually when I graduated, this was really bored out of my mind, to be honest. And initially, I kind of just wanted to get back on the mat and do a different type of exercise rather than traditional weightlifting to kind of shed some of the football weight and whatnot. And I just kind of fell in love with the sport very, very quickly, and it kind of progressed and I had my first amateur fight about six months after I was training. But once he dedicated himself to MMA, his passion consumed him to the point that a rocky start never deterred him. Although I had a rough beginning, you know what I mean? I just think it was just, just bad timing to made me work, work harder and push harder through it. But the, the goal was always to compete with the best in the world, try to get to the top. Otherwise, if I didn't think I had the ability to do it, I wouldn't even got started in it. Rogers bounced back from a slow start to go on to win seven straight matches in the octagon by virtue of first round knockout. But perhaps his most impressive knockout was his most recent. His flying knee now has over 400,000 hits on YouTube. They sent me this YouTube clip. I want you to give me the play-by-play -play of what's going through your mind. All right. So here's your match. Guy's a little hurt. What's going through your mind when you throw this? You know, I was trying to land. I threw a double jab there, and the right hand kind of rocked him back and kind of made him do the chicken dance a little bit. I didn't think the right hand really got, got through at all. My boxing coach always tells me, you know, the ones that you don't feel are the ones that hurt him. And I saw once he did the chicken dance, I said, I'm just going to go for it, charge forward, and land the knee. And you knew it was over. You could tell. You saw him go, and you just you put your hands up. I peered over my right shoulder, and you can see my arms kind of shoot in the air as soon as he lands and his head bounces. I knew when you see someone fall, up a certain style. I've watched enough fights where I knew he was out. Thanks to the power packed in the Predator's right knee, Rogers now finds himself two wins away from a world middleweight title. His next test comes Saturday at Bellator 66 at the IX Center in the form of 7-1 Andreas Spang. I think I'm the better, cleaner striker from what I've seen on film. Um, he's got a few more submission wins than me, but I think, I think that's because he gets thrown on his back a lot, you know what I mean? Which I don't really plan on shooting singles or double legs or anything like that, so I plan to just, you know, hopefully take care of him business on my feet. From Independence, Will Ewan, STO.